Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live in the newsroom with details. Carlos. Well, Leslie, when you first see this young boy, he looks fine and healthy, but his body is full of shrapnel, dozens of pieces of metal from a U.S. missile that accidentally fell in his neighborhood. Now, he's not a victim of the current war in Iraq. This happened four years ago, but he's just made it to the U.S. to get medical treatment. Mustafa looks like any eight-year-old boy, riding his bike and full of energy. But at his young age, he has already seen the horrors of war. He has 30 pieces of shrapnel in his body from a U.S. missile. Then the glasses of the windows and dishes, all of them uh, dropped and broken. His mother can't forget the day it happened. January 25th, 1999. Mustafa and his brother Haider were playing outside their home in Basra when the missile exploded nearby. She found Mustafa injured but alive. Then she found his brother. Then I found him lying on the floor and dust and pieces of food and iron covered him and a circle of blood under his head. I touched him, tried to carry him and talked to him. I cried. He never answered me. Haider died. His brother Mustafa barely survived. He lost two fingers on his left hand, and doctors say the shrapnel is dangerously close to his spine. He was brought to the U.S. to get medical treatment by an organization called No More Victims. My intent in starting the organization was to show the human face of collateral damage in the hope that the American people would pay attention to the damage to civilians that is caused by U.S. aggression in the world. Mustafa's mother now prays for a better future for her son. She also prays for her family back in Iraq. She hasn't heard from them in weeks and wonders if they're dead or alive. When they bombing the communication, I can't know, uh, hear anything about them. Till now, I'm very, very about them. Well, doctors are arranging for surgery to remove the shrapnel from Mustafa's body, but doctors say the hardest part will be trauma counseling to help him deal with everything he's been through. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7. Eyewitness News. David, back to you.